Oh, buddy, what's going on, everyone? Jerome here along with Ben, and welcome, welcome to an awesome special Shell Shock, because today, me and Ben are going to be spending some time talking about what we think about conventions, and the reason for it is because, well, we just got back from GamerCon Dublin, that's why we are together in real life. So, big shout out and thank you to our paid sponsor from uh, Blue Apron, and uh, either way, let's get into it. So, Ben, what did you think about GamerCon? Oh, it was, it was really good. So, it was my first convention I've done since uh, starting G YouTube, you know, full time with uh, you. Now I think I'm gonna miss, but uh. Yeah, it was the first one that we've been in together since Minecon of 2015. Yeah. Uh, but oh, yeah, so what do you think of GamerCon overall? It it was really well done. No, I was it was great seeing you know all the kids getting to see that. Ben, that was a no way. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most ridiculous first shot I've ever seen. That. Ben, that should not have happened. That should not have happened. Best shot ever. There you go. That's how you start off. That's how you I, start off a video. I don't even know what to say. That was amazing. Wallace, yeah. Yeah, but no, it, it was really good. I I like to see all the fans, you know, like getting to meet you and everybody there. Yeah. It's, that's the best part about it, right? The fans getting to meet, you know, their favorite YouTuber or anything like that. Oh, it was a ton of fun, man. I, I certainly enjoyed it. And that's my favorite part of any convention, really, is the fact that you get to meet a bunch of fans. You get to kind of see and, uh, I guess, put a face to all the people out there who watch uh, your videos, you know? Oh. It's so easy to look at them and see, like, like uh, did we just kill him? He quit. He just rage quit on us? Oh. oh, okay. But anyway, I was gonna say, it's so easy when you're just taking a look uh, at, at it online, you just see like a view number, yeah. or a subscriber count, and sometimes you lose track of the fact that it's a real person out there watching. Uh, and it's really cool just kind of to, uh, I don't know, I mean, j just kind of meet people in real life. So I, yeah. I love it. So I thought GamerCon was great. Yeah, uh, no. They had a lot of people show up. Oh, a lot I mean, of people. Thousands the, the, upon thousands. the line went around the building, right? Multiple yeah. times. And uh, I, I don't know, I always like it too, because it's very rare that I get to go to an international convention. Yeah. Uh, so for me, this is kind of something special. I go to a lot of US-based ones, probably three or four a year at yeah. least. Uh, so this was something new for me, for this sure. Was your, this was only your second time at a uh, European convention, wasn't it? Because there was Minecon. Uh, no, and I went to uh, Eurogamer in 2013. Oh, wow, that's a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So that was back when it was still at uh, the uh, O's Court, right? The big, big I think build. so, actually. That, that's, this, uh, yeah. that's no longer there, if you believe it or not. They knocked that entire the building down. Why did they knock the whole building? They deemed it unsafe, apparently, yeah. <laughs> oh, great. Good to know. Well, there a couple <laughs> yeah. of years ago. Fantastic. Well... <laughs> By the way, no one's joining. Yeah, what's what is, going on? Come on, what is going is this, on? Uh, I mean, why don't we uh, try uh, leaving and seeing if we can't find a... Uh, and find a game of our own. Yeah. yeah, we'll go and look for one. All right, so out of, out of every convention you've been to, what's been, like, your all-time favorite? All-time favorite TwitchCon. TwitchCon? I did not go to TwitchCon. How Dude, was that? TwitchCon was uh, really, really good. It was the first year doing it, so it was okay. the first time they've ever done it. And what city is it in? That was... The first time they did it was in San Francisco. Okay, San Francisco. So that was my first time ever being to San Francisco as well. That's a beautiful city. San Fran. I, I, yeah. I've been there quite a few times. I actually do. I love San Fran. It's oh, like yeah, no. City. But, yeah, you, know, you know, TwitchCon was an amazing, like... It's, it's hard to explain it because, you know, you, got, you go to the convention, you see everything, you know. That, that's really good. But it's the, the after party for it, right? Yeah. Dead Mouse was playing and Darude Sandstorm. No, uh, Darude rather. So you uh, got to see him live? Yeah. You're gonna wait. You're gonna laugh. I actually got to see Dead Mouse live at a convention. Of, yeah. Which one? Uh, it was uh, Dreamhack. In wow. Austin. That's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it, it wasn't hosted by Dreamhack. I went to a Nvidia. Oh, this is a big game. Um, <laughs> I, I went to the Nvidia <laughs> announcement party. Ooh, I think it was. Snipe. Oh, nice. Come on. I, I think it was for one of their uh, their new graphics cards that had just come out. And oh, I yeah. And went to, their, um, to the NVIDIA after party, and Dead Mouse was... Wow. Yeah, he performed there. It was actually really He's actually really, cool. really good live. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah no. Incredibly that, good. Yeah, no. Uh, God, when we, uh, when we went to uh, watch uh, Darude Sandstorm, so, yeah. you know, he's a very... Uh, right? he's, he's been in the game a long time. He's fairly old. Okay. And it's just... It's, you can tell when the versus a new DJ versus... You know, in another DJ, DJ, yeah. yeah. They just know what they're doing, you know. That, that, I mean, that's why it was, like, one of my favorites, because it's just... The after party just made it, right? It, you just... Not just, you know, the convention, but what they did afterwards for everybody. Yeah. Like, that is really cool. And if I could ask, what brought you to TwitchCon in the first... Do you, do you I, watch a lot of Twitch? Or? I, no, I used to watch a lot of Twitch, yeah. I had a lot, a lot of friends going there, and I stayed with uh, 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 two Australians... 
uh, four Americans in this big house, and they're like, yeah, let's just, uh, yeah, Airbnb. I've done yeah. that before at conventions, where you'll get, like, a group of, like, six, seven, eight people together. Oh, yeah. Airbnb that thing. It's, yeah, it's great. Yeah. Oh, that's Whoa, cool. Oh, rip sort. Look at that. Come on. you got to land this drone. Oh, very cool. Uh, random thing I'll answer at first, I guess, was, uh, the first convention you ever went to. Mine, mine was PAX East 2013. I still remember it. I was, I was a college student at the time. And, wow. Uh, yeah, I pretty much took, like, I mean, God, it was for the trip to to get there and for the hotel and for the tickets to the event I, i'm not gonna lie it was pro probably the whole thing all said and done by that weekend was probably like an entire month's worth of youtube at the time because i i'm not oh. i mean it was not like a, a real full-time job or anything That's by that rough. point yeah, yeah i mean it, it was uh youtube was just something i did on the side while i was at college at the yeah. time so uh it was a heavy expense com comparatively yeah um uh, and I mean, I had a blast. I got to meet some of my best friends uh, that I still have today. So I met Preston plays there. Oh, so uh, that was everybody's first convention, or just yours? That was personally mine. I don't want to speak on their behalf, but I believe it was theirs too. Okay. So I don't want to speak on their behalf. Yeah, I, no. I believe that was like everyone's. Like, so I think it was Preston's first one. I think that was Mitch, Beijing Canadian. I stayed with him. I stayed with Nooch. I stayed with uh, one of our friends, uh, Zach, who went by Hippo. Uh, he dropped out of the YouTube game. Oh, okay. Uh, and then it was also where i met and became good friends with and arguably it was where team crafted was essentially founded no way yeah. really that pack eh? yeah and if you don't know who team crafted was everybody it was a team of mine back in 2013 that uh that was myself Bayesian canadian sky does minecraft uh deadlocks xrpmx 13 husky mudkips uh sunday and minecraft universe jason so wow a, so that's true you, right? yeah universe. true you, yeah 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 okay if this lands if this lands uh, Oh. oh! Okay, you got robbed. You totally got robbed there. I'm I was sorry, just trying to. Oh. It's okay. It's That's okay. rough. No, my first convention was actually a Eurogamer. Really? Oh, that makes more I sense. I think you 2012, were, yeah. actually. 2012. Okay, what brought you to that one? Uh, was... Just, I was just my, really my first convention, and I was just like, I feel like going to it. And then my second ever convention was a Minecon in Orlando. Oh, I, I, wait, you were there? I was 17 and flew out to America on my own. Wait, so you were... But, yeah. Okay, so, geez. I, you know, I was there too, but I mean, we didn't know. That's the funny part. Me and Ben have been to quite a few conventions together. We even said hello to each other at MineCon 2015, but yeah. we like, didn't really know each other. We were just like introduced and we are like, oh, how's it going? How's it going, man? Nice to yeah. meet you. And that was it. And then we became really good friends afterward. <laughs> and like, it's just so weird for us because we'll, we'll recount these stories. And like, now I'm finding out I probably ran into them. Yeah, sure. no. Especially we, if you like met up with people there that we... Yeah. Yeah. No, we was uh, we, I was staying with a. Uh... That was a good. That was a good <laughs> shot right there. I had. Sorry, I got excited. That was nice. What did you hit? Was that a pixel for fifty six? It was a crit hit pixel. Yeah. Oh, buddy. No, uh, uh the minecon in Orlando. Was I went with Matt actually. Oh, okay, nice. So, I, you know, it was the first time we uh, met up, and I, you know, went off on my own and stayed in the hotel, and it was really, oh, really good. Oh, this one's good. yours, by the way. That's a nice, oh. uh, hard one for you. I just want to say thank you to Blue Apron as well for sending me the product for free to try out so I can tell you guys a little bit more about it. The great part about Blue Apron is that they use high quality ingredients so that you can enjoy. I personally love Blue Apron. The food tastes fantastic, it's easy to make, and just believe me, it just makes cooking a lot simpler. My favorite parts about Blue Apron is that not only is it affordable, but they also give you a nice variety of different foods to try from. Another cool thing about it is that it's really, really easy to make the food that they provide you with, and not only that, they're flexible. You can actually create different types of meals based on your preferences so that each week you're getting something that really fits your food palette. Not only that, but Blue Apron's freshness guarantee promises that every single ingredient upon delivery is ready to cook, or else they'll make it right. Check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free Free, with free shipping by going to blueapron.com backslash Jerome and Ryan. You'll love how good it feels and tastes to create incredible home cooked meals with Blue Apron. So don't wait. That's blueapron.com slash Jerome and Ryan. Blue Apron, a better way to cook. You know what? I don't think that is. You ready to see a skill shot? Uh, sure. This guy's gonna go for it, but I'm gonna steal it from him. Um, I think he might be overshooting it, bud. Nah, uh, we got this. Oh, come on, come on. Oh. One crit! There I we go! I killed him with one damage! 
<laughs> wait, it was that? Are you sure yeah. you that guy? Yeah, no, wait. The guy with the uh, dead weight killed him. Oh, I was okay. about to. That's rough. Oh, oh. oh those gonna hit himself. Okay. Oh, me too. Well, he hit us from an 11 crit there. So that was your uh, second Minecon, wasn't it? The one in Orlando. Uh, no, that would have been my first one. Mine. Oh wait, wait. Because they had one in uh, Las Vegas, didn't they? I didn't go to Vegas or Paris. So Orlando was my first Minecon. Okay. And then they did they do a 2014 one? I don't think so, right? Oh, there we go. Uh, yes. Yeah. No. 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 no they they skipped didn't. Yeah. 2015, 2016, and then. Yeah, and I was at 2015, and I didn't go to 2016. I was in the same city, but I didn't actually attend. Uh, yeah. Really. I, you I, had your uh, you had a uh, the, the pack, pack live, live event, event didn't yeah. you? Yeah. So what was that like hosting your own event? That's true, actually. Yeah, I, I've hosted my own conventions. That is very true. I didn't even think to really. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, so that was cool. It was interesting. Uh, the pack, if you don't know, is a group of YouTubers. Uh, it's myself, uh, Bayesian Canadian, Preston Plays, uh, Vic Star, Woofles, and Lachlan. Uh, and we did our own little event out in, uh, in Anaheim. And we yeah. got to like meet a bunch of fans, uh, just take pictures, uh, sign autographs, say hello. And uh, it was very stressful to set up the event. Yeah. Um, but overall, it was, it was good. I mean, we really had a great time with it. We got to meet a lot of fans. I know they were happy. We were happy. So uh, no complaints. Do you think you'd set up your own one again? Uh, well, I, I have in the past, and, and I will again. Yeah. yeah. So I've done. Uh, so I was actually one of the founders of Arcadia Con. Oh we, yeah. We had yeah. two conventions: one in Galveston and one in. Uh, uh, so why is it Fort Lauderdale? Yep. Uh, and then we're not doing. We didn't do it last year, so I don't think we're going to continue with the convention. Uh, but I recently uh, became uh, a partner in uh, the Game Con in Galveston. Uh, oh so yeah, yeah. I've heard oh, Clover. Yeah, so I'm going to be uh, attending that this year, and I suppose, I guess, being I'm a partner in it, I'm hosting it as well. Yeah, so it's, uh, yeah that's going to be good. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sad I can't go to that one because I'm not, you know, I won't be in America at that point. But yeah, gonna... come on, come on, come oh, on, come dude, on. You're close come on. First shot, really. Oh, oh, okay. 110. Wait, 100, I thought it said 11. No, 110. Oh my god, I thought it did 11, and then you did 110. No, buddy. <laughs> How are you getting so ridiculously lucky? Oh. Um, but yeah, no, uh, I, I, overall, it's it's very difficult. And the pack live was mostly more so a meet and greet than a whole convention. Uh, the, yeah. These are large-scale conventions. And I can tell you those are insane to plan. It's not it's not an easy task at all. Uh, fortunately enough, there's a, there in the, with ArcadiaCon, there was a group of us. GameCon, the same exact thing. Uh, makes it a lot easier. There's so many things you need to think about. Oh, e yeah. Even things, for, everything from even lighting is a struggle. Because you have to, like, uh, oh, you either God. have to rent or purchase the lights. And, uh, you know, you have to, you have, basically have to crunch numbers, find out what makes the most sense. I've never seen a smart sniper miss. Um. Do you want to do, you want to do a spider right in between them? Yeah, why not? Uh. Oh, oh that, bring up the game. There we go. go. Minimize the game there for a second. <laughs> uh, but no, there's just so many things in logistics you have to think about. Even even something as ridiculous as renting chairs for the convention. Like, like just That's random, an expensive thing to but, do. Oh, it's, it's uh, hosting a convention is very expensive. Woo! And it's just very stressful. Because like I said, there's just so many random little things you yeah. don't think about uh, that goes into it. And like, just, it's it's a lot. <laughs> it's yeah, a no, there's a lot to, there's definitely a lot to think about. You know, hosting your own event. Yeah. You got, you know, security per... X amount of people to think about as well. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a. It's it's fun though. It is fun. Yeah. Um. But overall though, I think. Uh, I'm trying to think here. What what what, what convention are you most looking forward to coming up? Hmm. That's good. I yeah, I want to do my first pack. I've never done a packs before. Okay. So I guess. The next time, you'll probably be in the U.S. in time for PAX West, right? Yeah, I would okay. love to do, like, PAX West, and I definitely it's a, it's a must to do PAX East, right? Yeah. That's, that's, that's the one. I mean, you but just also, missed that by uh, yeah. a week or two. But. Yeah, no. But, I would, but I've also been like, to do Australia and go out to an Australian event. PAX Austin? Awesome. I've yeah. thought about doing it just so I can get to Australia. Yeah, who doesn't, like... Dude! That's not bad, huh? An 86 damage, just, wow. There we go. That's a, um, that's impressive. Yeah, but I've thought about going to Pax Oz just so I can have an excuse to get out there. Yeah, no, I. why not, right? Yeah. It, it looks amazing out there. Apart from the massive, like, plate-sized spiders that you get. Yeah, I'm not a fan of those at all. <laughs> no, no, have you, have you seen them? Uh, I've seen pictures. Like, uh, this too big? Many pictures. Yeah, too many pictures. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, man. 
I think uh, this is this is a uh, this is in the bag. In the bag, you think? Yeah. The bag skis. Uh, well, there we no, go. Come on. Let's try it. Let's try it. The hover ball will do the trick. Hover ball double damage. It will get him. All right. I, I, you, if you say so, then I, I believe you, Ben. Come on. Come on. Please. Deadweight Hagen. Wow. Spare me. Well, that wouldn't work, right? Because I don't think he realizes the deadweight hits stuff. Just, just. No. Oh, oh no. no! But I think that portal got the double damage. Did it? Yeah. No, no dude. Why would it? Oh, that's a shame. Okay. What, what, what are you going to oh, go Oh, you have with? another hover ball? Oh, okay, no, I thought you had another no, hover ball. No. I was like, I'm just going to do you that. You got jack o lantern there. That could work. That's going to be hard, too. I think, honestly, because of the sheer amount of players we have, as long as we all do a tiny bit of damage, yeah. we'll be able to kill them. So Sweeper, I'm just... Yeah. Sweeper, <gasps> just to guarantee I do 30. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to... Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Now, now it became a kill. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was going to be a kill from the... Get oh yeah. No, he's no, done. Definitely. That's, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. That that's a that's an easy kill right there. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh bouncy ball. Ooh, 38. There we go. Uh, oh, oh my gosh, that nearly took our head off. That was a bit close for comfort. Very close for comfort. Ooh. That, no, that was a that was a bad that was not the best attack. Was it? I feel bad for him. Yeah, he missed part of it. Right. So let's uh, let's see what we got here. Do we have Dead Riser by any chance? Uh, no, no. But we have uh, Spiker. Uh, no, they're gonna launch that way. I aren't feel like they? there's no way you could do this without hurting your teammate. Ah, uh, why not? Oh my gosh. Let's see what we got here. Um, well, I'd say about that. Right? Yeah, it's perfect. Uh, Ready? Yeah. Oh no. Dude! Dude, that, that hole got deeper and deeper he and his rip so just couldn't keep up. He literally just got oh. drilled into the floor. Alright, so we'll, we'll set up another quick round here. Yeah. Um, but I think the one I'm most looking forward to uh, coming up soon is uh, yeah. E3. I love E3 every year. Oh, it's a great I've heard time. so many good things about E3. It's definitely one of the ones I want to go well, to. Well, the unique part about E3 that I love the most uh, isn't so much the convention itself. Unlike most conventions, uh, not that the inside isn't great. The, the actual experience itself, fantastic, fantastic convention. Yeah. Uh, if you ever get a chance, go out to it. Um this is our map. This is our lucky map. Smart snipe as well. Yeah. Um, but uh, the thing that I love most about it is the fact that a lot of the event, I would say, kind of takes place after the word, or after or outside of it. So yeah. for, for someone who, who works in the industry, there are a lot of industry get-togethers, dinners, parties, yeah, meet and they, greets. Yeah, I've uh, heard they, the, the companies rent out hotel rooms, don't they, to show off their products? At uh, these it, it's, it's literally the amount of, like... Uh, I guess I I don't know what you call them extracurriculars yeah. uh, activities. And I haven't used that word <laughs> since high school, but that genuinely is like what what I'd call it is extracurricular. It's just uh, they're they're endless. So yeah. like I, on on a given day, I might go to the event maybe for an hour, but at the same time, I'll be busy for nine hours straight and maybe go to like uh, like a, a, like. The two luncheons, a dinner, uh, like a party hosted by Machinima or YouTube yeah, or yeah. something, and then I'll head over to, uh, uh, you know, like maybe just meet up with some friends that do YouTube that I haven't seen in years, you know what I mean, just catch up with them. Uh, there's just so much stuff oh. that goes on. Uh, Buddy! There it is. So there's just so much stuff that goes on. It's, uh, it's endless. It's so much fun. Yeah, so, no. It, it, I honestly just want an event that has been, because they just recently up, like opened it up for public sale tickets right didn't they i believe so yeah, yeah i think so. I, I saw that and i was like wow i'd love to go but because before it was just people in the industry invite only wasn't it yeah you know you know what was the funny part about it too yeah is one of the first years i think it was one of the first years they opened up to uh to the public right and yeah. i still remember being a kid and being like dang i wish one day like i could go to e3 it'd be so cool and then finally like i established myself as a content creator i made it like as far as i could right i was a yeah. youtuber like yes i could go to e3 now <laughs> and then all of a sudden it's just like all right open it to the public just buy a badge you're like are you kidding me like I, you don't know what i've been through <laughs> to to get, get just so i could go to this convention oh 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 nice 80? That was a great turn. But oh my god, you did 117 then? With quicksand. Jeez. 117 with quicksand, Jerome. Woo, uh, buddy. 
So what do we? What do you got? I mean, you could ghost bomb, hit them both. Yeah, we'll try for that. You could probably kill. Them. Oh, there we go. What was that guy thinking? No idea. Oh. You know what convention close. I'm most hopeful uh, for the future of? Go on. Is uh, I'm most hopeful for the future of as ridiculous as it sounds. Pack South. And the reason I say this is because I went to the first one ever. Uh, I skipped the second. Went to the third one. Yeah. And the thing about it is I, I absolutely love the city it's in. I, I just, what city is it in? It's in uh, San Antonio, Texas. Okay, yeah. So I absolutely love that was unexpected. No, um, no, I absolutely love the city that it's in. I think it's a great time. The convention is amazing. Uh, the only thing I will say is compared to PAX East and PAX... Uh, I don't think they call it Prime anymore. They call it West. Yeah. Pax West. It, the the attendance didn't quite seem there. Up there. They need yeah. more people. They need more people. Popcorn. So. Is that a good attack? I think it's all right. I don't yeah. Think it's let's bad. give it a go. Let's get it a go. Uh, but yeah, the thing is, like, it's it's a great convention. It's in a great place. Uh, the the convention center itself is right along uh, the Riverwalk, which yeah. is a really beautiful area in that city. Uh, everything about it's fantastic, and I just uh, I wish it had more attendance. I really do. So is that your favorite city? Oh, that uh, that uh, is hosting it? Yeah. Thinking about it, I would probably say yeah. Really? I, I really would. I mean, it was let me put this way. It was nice enough that this year I didn't have any work to do with the convention. A lot of times, like, the convention I, work to do. I had no oh, planned no. work. There was no real purpose to going, uh, and I just decided to go. To... <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, that was awesome. Okay, I don't know how that happened, but wow, um, sixty. Look, I even missed half of them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I just decided to go literally so I could re-see the city and hang out in the city. Okay. Um, so I, I would, I guess that's kind of telling enough that I don't even, I don't. Yeah, I guess that answers that question even for me. I, I, yeah. I think yeah, that's definitely the most beautiful city that I've been to that uh, hosts a convention uh, in the gaming sphere. So. so when you're gonna get a convention set up in a good old Florida then? In Florida? Well, yeah. we have, like I said, we have one in Fort Lauderdale for ArcadiaCon like two years ago. Yeah. If I could get the GameCon out there, I'd love to. That would be great. Right on your back, like, that door. Like... Dude, if they did it in St. Pete, uh, which for those who don't know, I, I live oh, in St. Pete, Florida. Nah, it's fine. Yeah. We're going to win. I mean, we're, yeah. the team's probably. Well, I mean, it's two to, I mean, yeah. Yeah, but look okay, at our, look look at our the armor. Bars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they should be able to pull through on this one. I hope so, at least. But no, I mean. Right, like if you could have it, St. Pete. Dude, I would York. love for Is that. Is there a convention center in St. Pete? Wow, I. Weirdly enough, I don't know. I, I imagine. Because I know there's, there's the uh, Orange County one in Florida, like yeah. Orlando, and that thing's mass. That's the biggest convention center I think I've ever seen. Is that the one that hosted the 2014 or 2013 Minecon? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. That was Is it? Mass. Yeah. That was huge. Have you been to a. Uh, you know where they hosted a uh, Minecon in London? Okay. Yeah. Do, do you remember how big that one was? If you drove past it or anything? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was crazy. was insanely big. Yeah, no. I really like the area they hosted that in. On the docks. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Oh, no. Man. That was a... Oh. Oh, come on. There come we on. Go. We got to do this. But yeah, no. I don't think St. Pete has any convention centers. What they do is none of that size or scale. Yeah. Uh, maybe in Tampa. Prob oh, probably yeah, in Tampa. probably in Tampa. Yeah, because we live like right next door to Tampa. But so, I mean, so you've been to a lot of events, right? Now, yeah. I've got to oh, ask yeah. a question. How many places have you seen that giant Razor bus that seems to be everywhere? The Razor bus? What Did you mean? not see it at the convention in a Gamercom? It's, so there's a giant bus, right? Double decker bus and retro trailer to uh, have gaming. So what you do is you queue up, yeah. you go in, and they shut the doors and you game inside of this giant bus in a land mode on Counter-Strike or something like that. How have I never heard of this? You've never heard of it? No. no. I've been to so many conventions and I've never even... Uh, look at this. Really? Yeah. That's so sick. Like, yeah, this, this, this is there. I, that's like, it's all over Europe. Uh, so I'm guessing they don't have one in America. Oh, that, maybe that's why? Yeah. Okay. So, what? Yeah, I said that, yeah, it's pretty cool, right? That's very cool. Have so, uh, out of all the conventions, obviously you've done a lot. Have you ever done any of the insomnias? No, actually, funny enough, that is like one of the biggest ones that everyone asks me to go to, and I've never been. Oh wow! Never been to insomnia. Wow. I hear they're a lot of fun. They, they are no, they're uh, they're great, especially if you go to the pub quiz. 
What, what's the pub quiz? So, after the convention ends, everybody who is over the age of 18 goes in. And you ever, have you ever heard of a pub quiz? So, you, are, you, so you get into teams of people. Okay. And you answer questions as a team. And these, these are some pretty ridiculous questions. Okay. So then you can compete against the other team. You're all well, you know, having it pub style. So... Okay. It's just a really great after the event sort of thing that uh And everyone's about like the whole convention? Like, yeah, like it's about two thousand people. Oh my god. Okay. And so as the night goes on everybody, you know, starts to enjoy themselves a little bit more okay. <laughs> as you do. I believe you're referring to alcohol. Yeah, yeah, okay. that's the one and uh and then the queen starts and everybody starts flinging. No. It's unbelievable I've never seen anything like it. There oh, we go. G G well, it looks like we were able to win there, everybody. And I think that is all we have time for today. But we hope you enjoyed this awesome, awesome stream or video. Sorry, it's been it's been a, it's been a good one. It's yeah. different. We got to talk a little bit about our favorite conventions, you know, things we like in conventions, cities we've enjoyed uh, visiting because of them. I mean, it's uh, if you haven't tried out a gaming convention, if there's one near you and you have the chance to go, I'd recommend going. Uh, they're definitely, you, they're definitely. almost always a great time. Um, you, there's always something very interesting you can see there as well. There's is, always yeah. something to do. Exactly. Um, but apart from that, everybody, have an amazing day. Thank you for joining us. Thanks again to our sponsor, uh, Blue Apron. And just go and check the link down in the description. We're leaving down there. Yeah. Take care, everybody.